is up YouTube? This is Count Bladwin coming at you. How's everybody doing? Great, I hope. Well, I got a pretty cool little Rough Rider in front of me. And, you know, Rough Rider's an inexpensive uh, knife brand. But they make some pretty cool stuff. And they make some pretty nice stuff. So, I've got their, as you can see, Tough Stag in front of me. Uh, I like these because these are rustic and they give you an old feeling the way the Delrine looks and everything. So, it's pretty nice. Like I said, it gives you a, a traditional feeling. And Rough Rider is good about that. They're good about making their knives look traditional, look correct. And they look like they've been um, built pretty well. Uh, as it says, it's built by hand, backed for life. You can't beat that. So what I have here is the Rough Rider Hunter. That's pretty cool looking. I like that. Got a big old nail tick. Yeah, that's just, that looks good. They polish up pretty good their knives all the time, so most of their knives are really polished and pretty. And that's what I like about Rough Rider. They they make their stuff look pretty. Now this is a liner lock. And it's kind of weird because, you know, the detent on it with the spring and everything, it's pretty tight. So having to undo that lock and then push, push the blade towards my thumb, I'm a little skittish. But yeah, that's a really pretty blade. I like the way the bone looks. Well, Delrin. See it? You can put a a smudge on it real easy. Let me get that back off there. Gone. So yeah, the Delrin. It it just the pattern in it i i don't know i saw it at smoky mountain knife works and i was like you know that's just a good looking knife and so i bought it uh this one was i think 17.99 which is it won't break the bank and it gives you quite a bit of knife there you know that's a pretty big knife uh let's see that up against uh the Rough Rider Tadpole. Well, the Angry Watermelon, which is the Tadpole. And here's the Benchmade Bug Out. Gives you a size reference of how big it is. I love this Angry Watermelon. It's an awesome little knife. It's so cool. So... Man, there we go. So the knife is sharp. That's that's me. So yeah, it's it's very sharp. There's not a lot that you can ask for at $17.99 when it comes uh, to you as as sharp as that, as pretty as that. Uh, it's a no-brainer. So let's see what the paracord test does. If you're new to my channel, first off, thank you. Welcome. Also, if you don't mind, like, share, subscribe. It means the world to me. It only takes a second of your time, and I appreciate it. 
So if you're new here, I like to do the push through first because it's the hardest to do. Mm. Yep. Kind of hard with this one. So there we go. Yeah, that's that was a little rough. But it slices good though. Yeah, see, it slices good. Push through is always hard. You know, it's got to have a pretty good grind on it to push through easily. I'm not disappointed with this one, though, the way the way it is so far. Let's see if we can get a pop. No, but it cuts through pretty good. No, no pop. Almost a pop. No. Well, that's okay. Not disappointed in it. I've seen uh, higher dollar knives than that uh, perform way less, way less than that one did. So I'm pretty satisfied with this. So let me know what y'all think. Do y'all think it's a pretty knife? Would you know? What do y'all think? Let's talk about it in the comments. Uh, I think it's pretty good for the price. Uh, I think I'm going to give this one to my father because he likes stuff like this. And I, I, I honestly got got it for him. Well, for him. I've got another one uh, that's in this line, but that's a separate video. And it's pretty cool, too. Anyway, enough of me rambling. Thank y'all for stopping by. I appreciate it. I always do. Y'all are the best viewers in the world, and I appreciate y'all, every one of you. And as I always say, hope your belly's full. I hope your refrigerator's full. And for the love of everything, hope your gas tank's full. We'll see you next time.